My name is Adrienne Porterfeldt. I'm a software engineer at Google. My research area is usable security. I work on the Chrome team with a bunch of excellent other engineers. Once we kind of narrow it down, we should actually look at Amosdas to try to figure out. We focus on sort of all the places where you see security in Chrome. A lock icon or a warning message or any other visible indication of security. We try to make security understandable, accessible, and convincing. I feel really excited and frankly honored that I'm able to work on this. I think that it's a really important problem. I like to know that the work I do helps people. I like to say that I'm a security expert so everyone else doesn't have to be. I first got interested in my research area between my sophomore and junior years. I was going to college at the University of Virginia. I had an interest in computers. So I built an app for my sorority sisters to use and in the process of building that app, I noticed some security implications of what it means for me to be able to write code that can run on other people's websites. And I found this really interesting. Like, I could you know, find bugs or vulnerabilities in a big website that people use. I think a surprising number of PhD topics actually end up being somewhat serendipitous, either because someone stumbles into it on their own day-to-day -day life or they're reading someone else's paper and get an idea. I think that's actually how a lot of research happens. One of the things that I didn't know when I was an undergraduate was that many computer science departments offer funding for graduate school. So this often covers the school itself as well as a stipend for living expenses. There are also outside sources of funding, for example, fellowship programs from the government and from universities that you can apply for to supplement that. Uh, uh, here. Uh, using the interstitials page. <laughs> a lot of PhDs in computer science choose to go into industry. And I think one factor is honestly, because right now there are lots and lots of jobs, there's lots of options. It also offers other things like an ability to have immediate large-scale impact. I want to be working on hard problems, new problems, and getting a PhD I thought helped me find a job that allowed me to do that. And also gave me the tools so that when faced with those types of problems, I would know how to tackle them and how to do well. And I think that's really cool.